What is going on guys, it's Asher here, welcome back to another Wolves video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the game between Leicester and Wolves at the King Power Stadium, uh, which took place yesterday. It was the opening uh, fixture of the Premier League, and I guess in in a certain circumstance it could be considered decent a decent result. The overall, the overall consensus by um, most Wolves fans would be that... Um, we were robbed of two points. Obviously, if you look at the replays and if you um, match it with uh, with the current uh, law and how things are uh, and how the laws lie, then obviously fair judgment. But um, I felt um, the over the overall decision um, that cost us two points yesterday. It, it was quite harsh. It was quite harsh, uh, to be honest. Um, obviously, that's how that's how the law is. Uh, that's how the law is now with VAR. That that's how the law is, and um, I guess we've got to deal with it. But I think he was very harsh. Um, the ball came in. Um, yes, I guess it was creating an opportunity, and it, the ball probably wouldn't have got to Dendonka if it hadn't hit, hit Woody by his hand. But at the same time, it was accidental, and looking at the replays. Um, obviously it was clearly an accidental handball. It did cr uh, create a goal scoring opportunity which wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have arisen um, otherwise um, as obviously accidental or not the ball uh, deflected off the hand into Dendonga's path um, and that made it um, that made it much simpler uh, for him to, um, to to score. Yeah it was, it's just how uh, it's just how the law is laid down now, um, with uh, with VAR um, being introduced um, for the first time in the Premier League this weekend. That's how the laws are going to be now with uh, VAR in the Premier League. But at the end of the day, it's the opening Premier League fixture, and we got a point from it. Uh, and it's it was away from home as well, away from home against um, a deep. Uh, a very good Leicester side, considering the uh, the gap between uh, the game against Punic, uh, which we won 4-0 on Thursday, um, and the game yesterday for the opening Premier League game, it was only a three-day gap. Uh, a decent point, considering the fitness levels um, wouldn't have been um, very high. We defended quite well uh, for the opening periods of the game, but then. Uh, we decided we um, we started to um, we started to create an attack of our own and carve out a few a few decent opportunities and um, we could have scored uh, right at the end of the first half. Um, Jota was uh, Jota was thrown goal, uh, but he didn't uh, manage to make the most of it. Going into the second half, uh, we started really well, obviously um, uh, carving the opportunity. Uh, for the goal that never was, um, and I think the you you, you could say um, the the uh, VAR decision definitely helped Leicester uh, because after that VAR, VAR decision, the momentum completely sh shifted, and um, and Leicester uh, started to see a lot more of the ball. Uh, they cre created a, a couple of opportunities, but for both sides, bo both sides at the end of the day, uh, they couldn't. Um, they couldn't find uh, the right opportunity, uh, obviously um, excluding uh, the disallowed goal. Um, both sides couldn't really uh, find an opening, and we have to settle for uh, a goalless draw um, on the opening fixture of the Premier League season. So uh, we go, uh, we go to, uh, we have our first home game of the season now. Uh, um, a week today um, against Man United at home who've just uh, come off a 4-0 um, um, opening fixture win uh, against Chelsea we won well we won against them in April um, we won against them in April but uh, and hopefully hopefully we can uh, get the three points uh, against them uh, once again but if you did enjoy uh, this match review, make sure to smash that love button and I shall see you um, 
on Friday with a review uh, of the Pionic second leg with the tie pretty much over already after the 4-0 win uh, away in Armenia in the first leg. Until then, goodbye guys! <laughs>